As more cryptocurrency projects are beginning to understand firsthand, keeping key stakeholders and early investors involved in a project's ecosystem long-term is tough. With increasing speculation around new blockchain networks, specifically DeFi-focused platforms, cryptocurrencies can see instant price growth as they hit the market. With these profits too high for early investors to forego, the people who supported the project earliest can cash out eventually, which is terrible for the overall ecosystem. DeFi Protocol has developed an innovative solution to this problem, rewarding long-term users with a metric-based reward structure that allows new crypto projects to maintain their original community over time. DeFi enables networks to reward users based on their adoption. Every decentralized network can soon create synthetic tokens tied to adopting their protocol. DeFi can reward a network even when demand declines by issuing synthetics that will reward users later instead of earlier and creating longer-term users for staking, liquidity, and participation. DeFi protocol promises to solve the biggest problem of hyperinflation in the existing token models. The decentralized network participants rely on network incentives to stay engaged with the networks for the long term. To make them stay, the protocols keep increasing the rewards, which takes a toll on the token model. As a result, the price and utility of many DeFi and blockchain tokens crashed to nearly useless in the past. DeFi protocol solution revolves around synthetic tokens, or newly minted tokens produced to represent the value of other assets. New projects can deposit a portion of their total supply into the DeFi protocol using synthetic tokens. Following the deposit, synthetic tokens representing ownership rights to the original coins will be minted and distributed to holders. These tokens are not tradable, meaning original token holders cannot monetize these synthetic tokens while they hold them. Their only use is exchanging back for the initial token after a predetermined time period ends. This may seem like it only benefits project development teams, but it also rewards early token adopters. Following the distribution of the initial synthetic tokens, the number of tokens a user holds will change based on a smart contract algorithm that allows for the flow of token supply. Using a decentralized oracle, DeFi will be able to evaluate off-chain metrics such as token price, platform adoption, and trading volume to determine the platform's growth. The more usability the platform receives over time, the larger the amount of synthetic tokens distributed to each token holder. DeFi protocol tries to tie network rewards to market demand rather than time. This kind of participation favors the long-term network participants. Protocols that use DeFi need to determine the network demand. This will depend on the maturity level of the protocol and factors like staking volumes, transaction volumes, price, and liquidity volumes. These factors would change with time. Once the DeFi protocol users select the factors, the protocol will collect both off-chain and on-chain data using oracles like API3 and Chainlink. Using this, it will calculate the demand score. Using DeFi, the protocol founders need to deposit a certain amount of their native token into the smart contract. Based on the network demand score, the protocols using DeFi will be able to reward the holders of these DeFi native synthetics proportionately. This will help generate DeFi native synthetic tokens in the ratio of 1 to 1. The synthetic asset holders can redeem the native tokens at any time. These are redeemable in a ratio of 1 to 1. Networks can distribute synthetics to their users instead of tokens. With DeFi, every decentralized economy can create and issue synthetics which are later burned for their native token. This means that users can now incentivize nodes, staking, and even liquidity in a reduced quantity. This solves the most significant issue within decentralized economies, rewarding the longer-term users later instead of earlier. DeFi protocol created the first transition from simple token rewards to demand-tied rewards, incentivizing users with better liquidity and staking. DeFi creates limitless applications with reduced inflation by replacing simple token rewards with D-tokens. As a network grows in demand, D-tokens distributed to users can increase in quantity. Essentially, DeFi converts demand volatility into user rewards. Superstaking, the first mainnet product of DeFi, was launched in 2021. Superstaking is Staking 2.0, and it involves staking for a D-token as a reward. Visualize the token as a fragment of a network. It is created from the token and then distributed as a reward. The cool thing is that they can split and multiply if they sense demand in the network has risen. Similarly, they can reduce and make themselves scarce if the network falls in value. With DeFi, platforms are not discouraging speculation on their native cryptocurrencies. 
They just want the commitment to become a longer-term arrangement. DeFi turns investors from sellers to holders with its innovative solution, incentivizing them to realize their investment value if the platform sees measurable growth. This is highly beneficial to new projects, as they need to establish a base of platform usage to know what works well and where they need to improve. The structure will serve the best interests of projects and token holders in the future, as tokens will realize value based on the actualization of the network. Considering some projects worth hundreds of millions or billions of dollars receive almost no network usage, DeFi promises to incentivize stakeholders based on more than broad speculation properly. Over the recent years, DeFi has worked closely with reputed institutions to build something positively disruptive. Since its inception, DeFi has tested different approaches to tackle the same problem, rewarding a network with less hyperinflation and less single-user value control. This was a problem that was identified in the 2018 crash. DeFi has been closely tied with some of the most renowned institutions in England, which was crucial for providing guidance, events, and support. DeFi protocol is accessible to new and existing projects that want to avoid the pitfalls of hyperinflation and favor long-term users by rewarding them later instead of sooner. DeFi's rewards model comes into effect during times of low demand by reducing the tokens in circulation and increasing incentives to stakeholders. By distributing staking rewards based on the network's demand, decentralized networks will be relieved from hyperinflation, Rana said. DeFi's protocol's ultimate goal is to facilitate better adoption, economies, and token models that attract more long-term users. Zane Rana, the founder of DeFi, stated that, We always want to improve and respond with actions, not just words. This entitlement update mechanism has the same features as DeFi's synthetic D-token. Fewer tokens for those who care less, and more tokens for those who remain in the system to encourage network growth. It is perfect. Notably, according to the company, this also means that there will be soon no more weekly token distributions for private sale, so users will have to claim their tokens through the bridge themselves or leave it unclaimed, which randomizes distributions rather than a day of supply pressure. He said, this transition has been well thought out and will be an incredible improvement for the DeFi token ecosystem. It provides the much-needed foundation to launch our next staking and social reward products. DeFi protocol currently stands at $0.014, with a market capitalization of $7.991 million, ranking 996 in the most valuable coins list. DeFi has a 24-hour volume of $494,610. The price value of DeFi protocol has changed 6.23% in the previous 24 hours. In the last seven days, the price of DeFi has changed by negative 5.54%. It is limited to a maximum supply of 561,711,685 coins. In 2022, with more adoption and partnerships between other important blockchain networks, the price of DeFi protocol will skyrocket. The maximum trading price may reach $0.021 in 2022. The price ranges will be very trendy if we keep it that way. If everything goes well, we can expect an average price of $0.018 with a maximum price of $0.021 for 2022. DeFi Protocol produces its own wallet software for download on its website, which allows you to store DeFi Protocol on your computer. For maximum security, you can keep your cryptocurrencies on a dedicated hardware wallet, such as a Trezor wallet or a Ledger Nano X. Suppose you do not wish to buy a hardware wallet. In that case, you may consider using a mobile wallet, such as Atomic Wallet, Jax, or Coinomi, to store multiple cryptocurrencies with some added security benefits. Although users may not be able to profit from short-term speculation through DeFi, they have a much better chance of generating value long-term alongside adoption. This mechanism will scare away gamblers and speculators hoping to get rich quickly on the next hyped-up project, leaving investment opportunities for those whose plan to stay with the project over an extended period of time. With this superior token distribution method, projects will utilize DeFi to deposit a portion of their token supply in favor of non-tradable and elastic synthetic tokens for users, rewarding them over time. Consider investing in DeFi protocol if you are considering digital currencies. A long-term investment in the DeFi protocol may prove to be highly beneficial, and it's projected to hit its all-time high in the next few years if everything goes well. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on DeFi? Will you invest in this crypto? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, 
then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day today, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.